odor for me is a very interesting signal because it affects us on a very subconscious level. So we cannot really uh, consciously interfere with what odors do to us, how we perceive them and so on. In our brain, the processing of odors is very closely related to emotional responses. Not only emotional responses, but genetic ones. There's an intimate connection between how we smell and what's called the major histocompatibility complex, or MHC. MHC is a section of our DNA that determines which diseases our immune system is equipped to fight. There are about a hundred genes within this region, each with many different variants. No two people have the same MHC combination, and no two people smell the same. We don't really know so far how our immune systems get into our body odor, but there is scientific evidence that they are linked. Our immune system actually determines which bacteria can live on our skin, and the bacteria is actually what makes our sweat smell. So how do women react to men's sweaty t-shirts? The basic answer is not too surprising. Unfortunately, the most uh, of these uh, smells are not very sexy. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it's very hard um, to smell the differences between them. Yeah. But not all women feel the same way. There was one yeah. smell I didn't find that unattractive. Um, it was uh, mild and not so much intense and I wasn't disappointed about that. That one of our women uh, liked one of those odors very much might have two reasons. First of all, uh, she was in her fertile window, means, um, yes, uh, the, the general dislike of male uh, odors was reduced. And the second reason would be that um, her uh, MHC, her immune genes, uh, were obviously quite well matched to his. Oberzacher and Grammer found that women only liked a man's smell if two conditions were met. First, the woman had to be within a day or two of ovulation. Second, the MHC genes of the man had to be significantly different from their own. This result has now been reproduced across the world, including in Marty Hazelton's lab at UCLA. What people prefer is body scents that are different from their own. So you get one set of genes from each of your parents. If you get different genes from each of your parents, it's thought that you have superior immunity than if you get the same MHC genes from each of your parents.